Hey guys, I'm Christmas Champion Helmets and today I have a very handy how-to guide for you. I'm going to show you how to install the Senna SRL1 uh, comm system into the Shui Neo Tech 2. And I'll also run through a few of the features of the comm system and show you just how to use them as well. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to actually install the unit into the uh, Shui Neo Tech 2. First of all, I recommend opening this uh, chin bar into the uh, most difficult position, or the most locked posi position, I should say. And that's just for stability. Uh, it's going to make your life easier. Then, uh, cheek pads got to come off. So, uh, on each side, cheek pads is just going to have a, a couple little snaps, uh, little clips kind of things. Uh, three on each side, actually. Just remove them. So that's that, and then we want to just pull the uh, liner here and just push it up there. We want to keep this bit attached because it's really annoying to put that back on. Uh, at least that's what I think. So there's just two little clips. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. We just kind of tuck that in there so it stays out of the way. Then on the inside, on both sides, we're going to have these two little, uh, yeah, I guess little placeholders, like you could call them. Uh, so we're just going to pull them out. They come off very easily, just kind of a couple little tabs hold them in. Don't lose any of this stuff, by the way. This we're not going to use until, uh, yeah, until you take the, system, the center system out. But these are going to have to go straight back in. So definitely don't lose these. Try not to lose these. Uh, for the installation as well, uh, you're going to need this. This is a little tool that Shui gives you. It says Shui. And yeah, this is, this is uh, supplied by Shui in the box. Uh, it comes in a little plastic sleeve. So we're going to need this to take off these covers here. So let's do that now. What we're going to do is put it here. And you can see that uh, there's a little clip here. You can do that with your finger. Uh, or you can do it with the tool that uh, she was given us and it's a lot easier. So we're just going to put it in and then kind of press it out and it's going to come loose like that. Oh. That's come mostly loose and then I'll just do the last bit like that. And it's come all the way out. Also don't lose that. Um, same as with these, in the future you may need them. Same on this side. It's going to go in. I find one side is easier than the other to use. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but yep. So, and just kind of pry it out. It's going to sound like it snaps, but it's fine. It's that shoey quality. It's not going to break on you unless you really mess it up somehow. Uh, this one, we're just going to push it in, same kind of deal, but it's kind of tucked under this. Uh, so just watch out for that. So we're going to just go like that and On the inside, just that little uh, insert. Again, don't lose anything, and we're done with this for the moment. Um, yeah, okay, I'll show you just a couple of the, th the features of the center system. So, in the middle, we have the center battery pack, and that's a little charging point. You can connect it to your computer or whatever. Uh, here we have an earphone, or a microphone speaker, a microphone, a cover for the side panel. Uh, this is going to help you push it in and keep the wires in place. Same on the other side, you're going to push that in for the wires. And then we have the speaker. And then here we have the control unit. Basically, uh, it's going to say left or L for left and R for right on each speaker. And you're going to want to basically get it on the left and the right side. So I'll show you as well on the inside. There are channels here, that's for the speaker, here for the microphone, and for the cords. So that's a nice thing, that's what they've uh, prepared for, and that's why the center system is going to fit it perfectly. Also, here on the cutouts, it's specifically designed for the center. Okay, so to put it in, basically I'm just going to kind of uh, put the battery pack in first. So to do that, we're just going to Put it in and get it underneath this little uh, like rubber lip. Make sure your cords are out of the way. Just gonna go side by side. 
get it in and under there. And then it's going to connect nicely into this little clip. And it shouldn't take too much effort. Like, that's in there pretty well. And you see we have the cords. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to connect this, uh, the control panel, to the side of the helmet. And I'll show you from this angle. It's perhaps the best angle. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to line it up and just push it in this direction, so like this. Uh, line it up, get it in nice and close, and then push, and it's going to snap on, and just make sure these edges are also on. Then back inside the helmet, we have the little speaker. And that's going to fit in the groove here. You're going to want this side with the cord to go into the corded uh, groove there. So let's have a look at that. We're just going to push it on, and it'll fit nicely into the four uh, cutouts for the little tabs. And it's going to sit in very nicely. Uh, this, for the moment, uh, we'll get back to it later, but I'll just basically that's how it looks afterwards. But I'll do that again later. Uh, this side, we're going to take this. And on this side, it's just a cover. It's reversible as well, so that's nice. Uh, not reversible, sorry, you can swap them around. Uh, and then, same thing, we're going to just show you that on this side. Put it on, and then push it in. Make sure it's not on securely. Nice and easy. No problems there. Then we're going to take this, the speaker, and we're going to line it up with the microphone and the uh, cord uh, little cutouts. So you want to make sure it's in position, and then just push that on, and it'll fit in nicely. You should hear a little snap, but if you can't really like pull it out, it's in. Uh, the microphone, same kind of story. If one side here is has a tab that's higher than this side, and that's just going to line up on the um, cutout. And it's going to just go like that, and we're going to just twist and push it in, nice and simple. And it's going to follow the cutout uh, in the EPS and the plastic there. Awesome. Then we're going to take this, and we're going to make sure that the cord follows the line and is seated properly. And I'm going to push this down into there. If you want to, you can just use uh, like that little tool. Probably use the flat side. You can try and push down the wires a bit, get them into position uh, nicely. Don't use anything sharp. Please don't use a knife. The last thing you want to do is break your brand new expensive center system. And you want to make sure that the cord sits like this. You have to be able to put the chin pad, uh, cheek pad, sorry, uh, back into that little uh, notch. And if it's like this, it'll work. If it's like that, it's not going to work. Well, it will, but you're going to have loose cords hanging out. So kind of tuck it in there between the two knots, push it like that, and then get it to stay in place. So I'll put that cheek pad back on. Uh, which one is it? Nope, don't think it's that one. And I'm pretty sure it's this one. Yep. So I'm going to just put this notch on first, because I find that easiest. And of all the things I can do with a helmet, this is probably my least favorite and probably my worst. So yeah, I'm going to just try and do my best to get this in. And you want to make sure that it fits in nicely all the way around. I'm going to stand here and do it. Just kind of OK, that's in. I'm going to push it in on the rest. Make sure you get it in as nice and tight as you can. It's going to make it the last part easier. The last part, we're just going to push on if everything else is right. Uh, yep, there we go. I had to push it a little bit deeper. Yep, but that's on nicely. Uh, and I'll put the clips on afterwards. So we'll do it again on this side. This side will be a bit more difficult because the wire is a bit thicker. Uh, at least in my experience, it has been. But like I said, 
I'm not that great at putting these liners back on. It doesn't matter for what helmet I do it. So, wish me luck. Where's that? I'm going to make sure my cords are seated properly, or at least in the way that I want them to. And some people have complained about this excess of wire. Basically, they have done it so that it's going to sit like this and so that the uh, you'll be able to clip this into there. So that's been a design choice and it actually does help. Um, so yeah, let's just do that. We'll do the back first. Uh, it doesn't, I don't know if it really matters which side you do first. I just prefer to do the back. Okay, push that in nicely. Get it in nice and tight along the rest. You want to try and well, I said that was the harder side, it was the easier side by far. Easy, right? So that is the uh, installation process for the Senna SLR1. It's pretty simple, uh, especially compared to a third party uh, system where you have to like get it to stick on and stuff like that. Like this, the same, but this is nice here. And we can turn it on, we can turn it off. So I'm gonna take this out and then I'll show you how to uh, use the system itself actually. So I showed you guys how to install the center system into the Shoei Neotech 2. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually uh, use the system and just run through a few of its basic features. First of all, I am going to highly recommend that you take this booklet. Uh, it's available in several languages that Senna has provided in the box and you read it because it's going to tell you how to do a bunch of things, how to get the configuration menu, pair with the phone, use your mobile, all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a great book. Uh, the only problem I have with it, with it is that the installation guide is a little bit awkward, but hopefully the previous part of this video has helped you with that. So that's provided by Center in the box, and I highly re recommend reading it, like I said. Uh, first of all, it's pretty important to find out how you turn this on. So let's just go ahead and do that. Actually, there are three buttons. We have the plus, the middle button, and the minus. And we also have a little LED light there, and that's going to show you just how things work. Or, you know, just how the uh, status of the system is. So to turn it on, we're going to press the plus and the middle button. It's the same way you turn it off. So we're just going to do that. Bearing headset. It's going to take a second and then it's going to turn on. Hello. And it says hello. Uh, so from there, what can we do? We can listen to, uh, to the radio. So if you want to listen to the radio, you're just going to hold down on the minus button for about a second or so. FM on. 102.9. Oops. Uh, you can double click to search for a frequency. There you go, a bit of Dutch radio for you guys. Uh, to turn it off as well, we're just going to hold down on the minus button, the same way we turn it on. Uh, when you connect it to your phone as well, you can use the plus button and you'll play music. Uh, speaking of connecting to the phone, I'll show you how you do that. Uh, basically, we're just going to hold down the middle button for 12 seconds, I believe it is, and that's going to bring up the, was well, going to bring the uh, configuration menu to us. So I'm just going to hold down that button. Like I said, it's going to take a few seconds. Uh, you're going to hear this happen. Yes, we are going to go through that. Configuration menu. Configuration menu. And then we're going to press plus. So now it's available uh, via Bluetooth and you can see the little light flashing there. Let me get my trusty phone and I will pair it with a device. Neotech 2 SRL. Your headset is paired. Easy. So it's quite simple. Uh, you just pair over Bluetooth. So I will close that. And from there you can play music. If you want to answer a phone call, just tap on the middle button. 
you want to decline a uh, phone call, I believe it's double tap, and it's quite simple. Uh, you can also download the app from Senna on your phone, and that way you can, it gives better overview, and it's quite easy to, uh, to use a menu rather than to try and like use one of three buttons to communicate with the device. Overall, uh, the Senna system is quite easy to use. Uh, to make it even easier though, they've included a voice activation system. So I'm just going to hold the mic up here with the speaker and to activate it we say, hello Senna. It's going to ask me to say a uh, command. Uh, you can choose any intercom uh, preset that you have, so I'm going to choose uh, intercom 7. Intercom seven. intercom 7. There we go. Oh yeah, so now I'm connected to intercom 7, which is nobody. Uh, hello, Senna. Say a intercom 2. Intercom two. And it's quite simple. You can uh, cycle through. There's a whole list of commands in the booklet. Uh, so again, recommend reading it. And basically, you can say yeah, music on, uh, radio on, call, that kind of thing. So it's quite simple and it just really adds to the quality of the system. And final thing as to turn it off, we're just going to hold down on the plus and the middle button and it says goodbye to us as well. So as you can see the center system is quite easy to use. Uh, I recommend pairing it with your phone. Uh, don't use your phone while riding. Use your buttons. Basically it's a nice easy to use system. So this has been our guide on how to install the uh, Senna SRL1 for the Neotech 2 from Shui. And I hope you found it useful. I showed you a few of the features as well, like the music, uh, intercom, connecting with the phone, that kind of thing. It's quite simple with the Senna. Uh, there's not really much difficulty to be had. You can check out the guides in the uh, box that uh, Shui, sorry, Senna provides. And they're quite detailed, except for installation. They're a little bit lacking there. But as you saw, it's not that hard to install it. Um, yeah, it's overall a very good system and it does work quite well with the Shui uh, Neotech 2. So I hope you guys learned something. Uh, if you did, then leave us a like. Uh, you can also subscribe to our channel. That way you can stay up to date with everything that we're doing, putting out new content uh, all the time. So I'm Chris from Champion Helmets. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.